Hey Mosaics, Pastor Harry here and it's another weekend update to keep you informed. We got lots of stuff happening around here and if you will go to the Facebook page. So much of what I'm going to tell you is on that Facebook page and it's one of the easiest ways you can kind of stay in touch with what's happening around here. But first you'll notice as soon as you drive into the parking lot that the carnival is back. And so that carnival has been such a strategic blessing and partnership to this church. So make sure you invite your friends, your neighbors, your kids, your grandkids, your nephews and nieces. It'll be here all the way through next weekend, okay? So take advantage of that. Come and support that effort. And then get ready because on Sunday we got El Pastor Alberto back in the house and he'll be preaching out of Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. Notice the title I have right here, And You Were But God. Does that not sound powerful? It'll be a combined service. Come and join us for an awesome, awesome time of worship. And we'll be celebrating uh, Hispanic Heritage Day after church, too, as well, with cake and punch. And um, hopefully you're also studying your devotionals out of week two that I preached on last Sunday. And special thanks to Bob Mannery for generating these questions. And if you like what you're doing out of this, come to the Bereans Bible Study on Sunday mornings from 9 to 10 in the Commons. Pastor Bob Manry and his wife Kay Lee that time. It is like sitting in a room full of pastors. We have so much depth of knowledge and understanding of the Bible in this church. It's just amazing. So come and join us. That's the Berean Bible Study Sunday, 9 o'clock in the Commons. Also, last week we passed out our Imagine That Commitment cards, and so hopefully you're continuing to pray about that. There's different steps here we're asking people to consider in terms of stewardship, maturity. There's ways you can fill it out. We're kind of doing it this way because we, you know, we've had some long-term external supporters say, you know, you guys are 18 years old. It's time. We're weaning you off. And um, it's not too much unlike what I would do for one of my own daughters when they grow up. And so... Just consider your own um, participation in that. On the back is a gift chart. Now, I've been telling everybody, hey, don't start at the bottom and work your way up. Start at the top and work your way down. You know, and I can assure you this, that um, Melanie and I have been very prayerful about it. And whatever we do will be sacrificial. It'll be, probably be more than we think we can even do. But, you know, God has, has always just asked us to take steps of faith in that regard. And so we're not asking you to do something we're unwilling to do ourselves. So I, my prayer is that we would all participate as God leads and directs us. All right. Well, I'm going to pray the prayer request out of Imagine That Book, but page 11. So pray with me as we close. Lord, we thank you so much for this church and all you've done through us. I pray that people would know it's not us. It's the surpassing greatness of who you are that they see. We're just a bunch of weak and broken vessels. But we pray especially for our elders and our staff, especially for the young families represented, that you would protect them, that you would guide them, that you would give them good balance, that somehow through all the chaos of life and raising small kids and the demands of ministry, that you would be glorified, that you would give them peace and joy and uh, continue to confirm your calling in their lives. We also pray as a church that we would be known as a church that provides hope for all, that people would see what happens on this corner and would just be convinced, absolutely, this is God. This is Him and only Him. And we continue to pray for this initiative that we've called Imagine That, that you would, through it, just continue to demonstrate your goodness to us Lord, we pray that every family that calls themselves a mosaic would participate in this initiative. Just lead and guide. Nothing more or less than your perfect will for every family. And we thank you, Lord. We do love you. Thank you for Christ and all he's given us. And we look forward to coming together to worship on Sundays. And we pray it in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, guys.